Hey everyone, Tappers here again, and welcome back to the Super Mario RPG playthrough. When we last left off, we defeated Boo- No, we didn't defeat Booster, we avoided Booster and his Sniffets, along with getting the Amulet. We also found that Peach was locked behind a door, but because of Booster and with us being generous to him and all that, he unlocked the door for us, so now we're going to see what is going on outside and we see that Peach and Booster are gone along with the Sniffits but we've got somebody named Knife Guy and also his partner Great Guy and they want to fight us because of certain reasons that are unknown I guess because these guys are so great and knife or I'm sorry nice they are a part of Booster's amusement, and we should play with them. Now, oh, that really hurt. Uh, so anyway, uh, the main strategy is getting Mario and uh, everybody else boosted. And anyway, Knife Guy has about, uh, let's see, 700 HP, and he's also weak to fire, as you can see right there. And I did a really horrible job of mashing Y in that sequence right there. Um, he has 700 HP, weak to fire. Uh, great guy is weak to lightning, and he also uses a lot of spells. So, uh, let's see, I'm going to boost uh, Gino, just because that's kind of a main action I'm going to be using. Um, anyway, I mentioned great guy is weak to lightning. He can use a lot of spells like Echo Finder, which silences Blizzard, which does some damage, and he's got another spell later on if he ever gets to that point, but I don't know if he's going to. Knife Guy only seems to use attacking moves, at least for the time being, but he does have one spell he can use if he gets a chance to use it, but because he has the lowest H or the lowest HP, uh, who did I boost? Uh, actually, I'm just gonna attack Knife Guy and see if I can kill him before they do their thing. I don't know if I'm gonna actually do it because I th think I've been too busy. Yeah, too late. Come on, brother, let's thrash him. Whoop de doo! You know, I always wanted to envision one of them being Bozo the Clown and probably his partner back in that uh, Bozo the Clown show. Oh, well, uh, now. That team up right there, they're supposed to... It, when they team up, they use mostly one move. Uh, Knife Guy uses Crystal for some reason, while uh, Great Guy will spam Meteor Blast. Um, and those moves, I'm pretty sure, hurt terribly and all that, but because he was... I guess because Knife Guy was so low on HP, you didn't get a chance to see all that, but don't worry, you're going to see those moves eventually. And I'm getting the crap kicked out of me. Mario, now, one thing about Sleep Sass that bothers me is you get hit, you should technically wake up, but, well, I guess, it, it, like I said, it only applies to physical, oh wait, that's right, I can't uh, use special. So I got to rely on the masher, which does decent damage and... I also forgot to mention that Great Guy does use a physical attack, which is kind of weird. It acts like he's some sort of jack-in-the-box, but I, I'm not... Don't try to make any sense of its anatomy, because it springs half of its body while balancing on a ball, and... Oh, it also uses that sleep bubble move. I kind of forgot to mention that. But they explode into coins, kind of like every other boss and we run back we jump off the, cl the balcony cliff and we all plunge our doom just like peach and booster did so nobody survives except mallow who didn't even fight and we get a flower jar and a bunch of experience coins mario finally gets to level eight uh i think i want physical attack or attack and defense bowser gets more hp sort of mallow levels by doing absolutely nothing and Mario lands on his feet and we're wondering where the heck did Peach go not worrying about the fact that we broke our ankles from such a high distance 
but it looks like Booster and made off with Peach to some hill of some sort. And for some reason, Booster doesn't even know where Peach is, even though she is somehow on Booster's back. I'm, I'm kind of wondering if during the fall, part of Peach's dress kind of went over and around Booster and she just got caught up. Or maybe he's just, they're playing keep away intentionally. I, I don't know. So... I guess the point now is we're going to be chasing Booster to this place where they're going to be getting wed and all that. And we also have Sniffets that are going to chase us. We don't need any sort of instructions. So basically, this is Booster Hill, and the point of this is it's kind of a little mini game where, uh, aside from failing spectacularly, you want to bounce off these barrels and try to reach Peach. And if you do, you can get flowers for succeeding, but then you get knocked back because that's kind of how it's scripted. They're going to get wed no matter what, and there's really nothing you can do about it. Unfortunately, I am sucking at this minigame again. Okay, I've got two, so that's kind of decent so far until I start failing spectacularly because the hitboxes on these barrels and shy guys are absolutely horrendous. And I got three. I just matched my total from my practice attempt who knows how long ago. So at set intervals they're going to be uh, sprinting forward, the barrels will be going out on for quite a while and the sniffets will rush up and I... Oh that's five. Okay so I'm infinitely doing better now. At a certain point the, okay, there we go. I got six. Awesome. Eventually, the barrels are going to disappear, and the sniffets are going to just kind of rush side to side and all that, up and down and all around. I should stop making that joke already, because it's kind of not even funny at this point. But, okay, I think I got like seven flowers, so I should be almost halfway to 99 at this point. Okay, can I get one more? Uh... I'm missing these sniffets so badly right now. Come on. Just a little more. Uh, maybe I can get this one? Nope. They're already falling back. So this is pretty much the end of the mini game. And uh, let's see. Did I get seven? Because if I did, that's twice. Yeah, I got seven. And congratulations. Congratulations for what? I, I didn't say Peach. But anyway, we're in Marymore, where pretty much... You get married and all that good stuff. Welcome to Marymore, Wedding Hall, Four Star, uh, Hotel Facility, a man who looks like a totem pole face. Yeah, he went to the Wedding Hall. So, if we try to go in, we can't go in. Oh, but apparently there's already somebody there, somebody named Raz and Rainy, so we're not going to bother them. We're just going to check out the hotel and the shop and all that. Uh... Okay, I don't need to heal. I've got 800 coins, so I might want to use all that. Uh, I have 47 flowers, so let's make it 48 since I'm almost halfway there. Uh, I'm good on stuff. Also, oh yeah, if you go up here into this room, you will find a sleeping person and a frog coin. I think this is the only uh, hidden chest in this area, so there's that. So if you talk to this guy, you can buy stuff. Now, if you say you want to rest a while, they offer a special deal for a limited time. You can stay in the deluxe suite and get a lifetime gift, or you can stay in a regular room. Now, there's something you can do with the suite, but I'm not going to do that right now. I'm not sure if I'm going to do it, but my main priority is to get some stuff. So if we come here, we see a bunch of happy stuff and there's a happy shell I can't imagine Bowser wearing a heart shaped shell thing but anyway speaking of shell there's a chomp shell in case you didn't get the chomp you can get this weapon but it actually is weaker than the chomp that he has uh, there's the womp glove which we're going to buy a hand glove yeah a hand gun and we've got the Super Hammer, which is an alternate if you didn't get the Masher, but I'm not buying that either because it's also weaker. Even if the damage output is questionable. But 
Uh, 12 point difference. Oh yeah, that's right. I didn't get anything for him. Six points in defenses and ten points in attack. Got a bunch of stuff to sell. I could now. You also probably will remember that I have the uh, goodie bag, but I'm not gonna sell that yet because I'm still getting a bunch of coins from what I have right here. And don't sell the jump shoes. Five ninety nine. Okay. Oh yeah. I also forgot to mention there's something called the Beto Bring, which as you can see. Nobody can equip it. That's right, it's for a mystery uh, party member that we have yet to get at this point. But we're not going to worry about that just yet. Uh, there's some mid mushrooms and maple syrup, but I'm not going to get that since I'm pretty good to go. Uh, if we talk to this guy, he's wondering about uh, this place is heaven even for the rich and faint. Oh, he doesn't say it yet. Um, okay, I'm going to save here and. We're going to see if we can get to Peach, rescue her, take her back, and everything be hunky-dory, continue our quest. This kid's shaking for some reason because he needs to go somewhere fast. So if you talk to somebody, you'll see a couple get booted from the chapel. And one of the sniffets is pretty much barring the chapel because Booster and Peach are going to get married. Now, you can come up here and... He mentions that the back entrance is also locked, or at least they think. So if you go back here, there's a secret entrance. Uh, these peop these shelled warrior lookalikes are making a cake. We're not going to bother with them. So the jig's up. He is not afraid of the sh overgrown shelled reptile person that is totally not Bowser. And... Apparently, he's realizing that he's barking up the wrong tree when he's going after us. But now he can't get the door open because they have it barred. But he wants us to help him. And we need to help him break down the door by rushing it at the same time. For some reason, I'm failing. Okay, there we go. Third time's a try. And everybody crashes in the back of the chapel. And damages ensue. But... Booster gets them to shut off this entrance, and we have to break through. Uh, I'm going to save here just for the heck of it, because we're going to have a lot of uh, sequences going on. See if I can get this in under 20 minutes. Mr. Mustache can't break through, but they think the turtle is pretty mean. Yeah, they're in for World of Hurt. Lightning in a bottle, earthquake in a can. I can bust this open in no time, but you couldn't bust open that other thing. So we crash in, and we also crash into Peach, who loses a bunch of her stuff. She dropped her shoes, her ring, brooch, and her crown, which is clearly on top of her head. And they just... Look at them! These jerks just throw Peach up to the pedestal, and at least Booster is kind of concerned that she's impatient, but he doesn't understand the concept of tears and he thinks they and they're salty tears they're it's pj salt everybody's getting all salty and all that but now he understands that hey maybe because she lost her gear that's why she's crying and now they get this plan that they should get her stuff back and he's he doesn't understand the customs of how to get married and all that, neither do I, so, um, one of them found a ring, one found a brooch, one of them found the shoes, even though there was never a sprite to begin with, and there's also a crown, which is clearly not on top of Peach's head, so we got a tiny mini game where we just have to get her accessories back from the Sniffets and say Princess Toadstool, something good might happen, except it's not really that amazing, so, okay, why... Why was it taking so long? Oh, I found the last. I'll look for the last one. Give it to Bowser. We got the shoes because the gate. They were kind of lazy making it. Uh, Sniff it one has the brooch, which they decide to actually make a sprite for. Uh, come on. I'll look for the last one, which is the ring. And you see that the crown is on top of Booster's head, even though it was never there to begin with. Oh ho! Here it is. Hey, 
You're Mario! You come to crash my wing, haven't you? Mario. Finally here! And then she jumps a thousand feet in the air, crashes through the chapel, and is afraid of Bowser and all that. But she doesn't even bother to wonder why he's here or anything, so now there's a quarrel about who should get the kiss. Give me my kiss, my kiss! Yeah, they're acting like a bunch of eight-year-olds, and Peach is going to give Mario the kiss. Or is she? Nope, it's Bowser. Insert fanfiction.net. Yeah! Praise the Lord! Oh! Now Toadstool and I are allies. I'll never leave this town. What the? Now that's one from the scrapbook. Come on, Mario, let's get back to the Mushroom Kingdom. Chancellor's waiting for us. And Booster doesn't say anything. Bowser's dejected, and we start to leave. But apparently. Our cake has been delivered to us. We got an amazing cake. You won't believe it. But they're wondering where the bride and groom is. Well, uh, Booster's right there, so one half of it is already there. Unless you want to consider Mario and Peach the bride and groom. I mean, they've been together all these years. That should be good enough. But apparently we're fools and they want to fight us and we must stop, stop, or something. So we have... Tort, Chef Tort, uh, or no wait, they're both Tort, even though one is called The Apprentice, and we've got a cake, so clearly we're going to ruin this wedding by attacking a cake. Now, uh, one thing I was going to mention uh, about that little minigame sequence thing is that, um, what was it, uh, you, you could probably see that some of the candles were being lit, or you could hear the candle sound effects and all that. Um, if you complete it in a fast enough time you get a different sequence where Peach is actually the one that kisses Mario. If you don't do it fast enough or the longer you let it sit or with the candles lighting then you, you'll you get like Bowser kissing, uh, Booster kissing Mario or you get both of them kissing Mario and it's kind of hilarious like that. I mean you can do whatever you want. There's no real consequences. It's just kind of for hilarity value and all that. But, yeah, while I was kind of talking through that, this cake is moving, apparently. And speaking of the cake, it's kind of one of the most bizarre things you'll ever see. I mean, it looks normal in the top half, but then you get to the base and you got a candy cane, uh, some strawberries. Okay, that's kind of normal. You have a stick of gum or some sort of vanilla wafer cookie sticking out of it but apparently the apprentice is trying to tell him tell his master that the cake is alive yeah I went with the obvious joke you know and no I have not played portal so I'm gonna probably get like several hundred people yelling at me but it doesn't matter uh, the cake is alive and we need to kick its butt but we're in the second part of the, or the second phase of this fight where uh, you have like a bunch of candles where all you need to do is damage it and you'll take the candles out and every time it attacks it gains what its candles back. Uh, th this part of the fight is an absolute jerk because um, it has some nasty attacks like Sandstorm which I don't think you actually saw it against uh, Punchinello or Nelio, or whatever he calls himself, but uh, it's a fear. It's an it's an area effect attack where it can cause um, what's it called? God damn it! Stop spamming Sandstorm, and and I can expect all the Darude Sandstorm dumb meme jokes in the comments. I'm not even gonna go there, but it it, it causes fear stats and hooray for freebie. Uh, you want to have pick-me-ups pick for this fight, or at least able juice, so that you can cure the fear status in case he starts spamming Sandstorm. And he's using Blizzard, I think, every turn and all that. Hopefully, uh... Oh, wait. It has a Drain Beam? Okay, I, I don't remember if that's fear status also, but... Um, okay, I'm just going to attack Bunt now so that I can get past this form. I'm not going to worry about picking me up yet. 
Uh, if I do die... Uh-oh. Uh, I might have spoke too soon. Uh, please survive. Oh, okay. Uh, pick up Mario, and then I'm gonna use... I don't know, maybe a... How many Carol Carol calls? Okay, I'm just gonna use that now so that I don't completely die. I mean, I can get more of these later, probably. And stop using Sandstorm. Seriously, that's like three times now. Uh, so anyway, uh, Bunt, or is it called Bunt? No, it's called Raspberry now, because it's blue, and those are raspberries, mostly, of what it consists of. But, yeah. Uh, raspberry is completely immune to everything except Jump. So, if you have Jump available, you can go ahead and use it. 88 is not bad. It's at least consistent, considering how inconsistent the masher is. So, you can do maybe about 100 damage, maybe even 150, if not for the stupid fear status. And Mario dodged that somehow. I, it just kind of works that way. Um, eventually, this fight does end. I, I probably should have used... Uh, Geno boost, but it really doesn't matter because at some point this fight will end. Okay, yeah, this fight's over now because we got a little sequence about uh, not attacking this cake because, well, it's Booster's wedding cake. And he'll have a fit if we nibble on it. And then Booster eventually starts to wonder where his cake is because half of it disappeared because we destroyed destroyed the top scary part. And uh, the uh, awesome part is that Stiffet1, being the nerd that he is, is getting off the... Oh, there's a 70% 70 70 chance that what you're standing on is a cake. Now, and Booster doesn't really understand what a cake is still, but he thinks that boiling it would maybe help him eat it or something like that, but they suggest that he's just swallow it in one gulp. Feels like he forgot to tie his bungee cord. Yeah, his nerve is kind of acting up. And being somewhat observant, he actually sees that the cake is moving, the cake jumps, and the cake is now officially a lie. You gotta wonder how Booster can just swallow a cake like that, especially since one of them is a candy cane and a wafer cookie. I mean, you'd think that Booster would just choke and die from that. But because the cake is officially gone, they decide that their business is up and they're finally going to leave the place and leave us to our own devices, get some experience, and the day is saved. And we're all shocked by that development. I was wondering, you're my knight in shining armor. Praise the Lord! What day? I can't believe it. I almost got married to that thing. Yes, a, a peach almost got married to a totem pole. It's amazing. And Peach has decided to join the party. That's right. Peach is actually our fifth member. So, yeah. We'll, we'll talk more about Peach when we get to that. Um, I'm going to leave this area right now, and everybody has apparently gone through the front door, mentioning that that creepy guy left. So, we're done with Booster, and the day is saved. Raz and Rainey's marriage thing is going to be saved along with their friends, so they can be on their happy way. And this kid is still shaking like he wants to go to the bathroom, but he's still not doing it. So, yeah, a lot of stuff is going on. These people are getting their picture taken. He is the best photographer around. Should we give him a wedding portrait? Uh, there's a bunch of other stuff, but that's not important. Uh, we're going to go in here and... Uh, we're going to save the next segment for the next segment. So uh, next time we're going to bring Peach back to the castle and a bunch of other stuff is going to happen. So see you for that.